Welcome back to episode 2 of the Collection Locked series. Last time we spun our starting skills getting defense, prayer and farming. We gained 5 collection log slots, receiving the Saradomin ornament kit, the frog token and the farmer's straw hat, boots and jacket from Tithe Farm. With 5 collection log slots we spun our first skill, unlocking cooking. Now, for this time, on Collection Locked. Since we unlocked cooking last time, I can actually do the cook's assistant quest now. This shouldn't take long. There it is, Cook's Assistant and Level 4 Cooking. Now I can cook up the chicken I have in the bank on the stove here. Okay, with all those cooked I'm left with Level 18 Cooking, not a bad haul. Cooking has given me the ability to do a few other quests too. For one, we can do Gertrude's Cat now. While I'm up near the sawmill I'm gonna start Rag and Bone Man also, since we can do that too. Alright, there's the kitten delivered to Fluffs, and quest complete. That's level 21 cooking, and we get a pet kitten. That's the first pet on the account, let's go! Upon inspection, it looks like we get fire making experience from Rag and Bone Man, so I won't be doing that. Our editor's note, I checked the footage from doing this quest on Citizenscape, and it looks like you don't actually get fire making experience lighting the logs for this quest. You'll see why it doesn't matter in a moment anyway. I can still get the bones though, so I may as well do that for later. By killing this giant rat, I can get the giant rat bone. Plus, I have a Captain Arnav random here too. A gold necklace, alright. With level 1 attack and strength, I can't really hit this unicorn enough to take it out before it regens hit points, even while using my prayer. I think I'll have to shelve this idea for now. I do get the goblin skull, just because I'm killing a few of them. There was 18 hit points. I did miss filming the level up though. At the moment I'm taking a little break from Tithe Farm to wait out some random events and hopefully get a few clue scrolls. And there we are, a beginner clue scroll. It's a Charlie the Tramp step so I'm off to the rock. Huh, Charlie wants iron ore. I can't mine it, but the dwarves drop at 1 in 32. These level 7s will be the easiest ones to kill. And there's level 25 defense. Once again, dealing a max of 1 damage and with only 1 attack, it's pretty slow to take out any creatures. I do get an iron ore pretty quickly on kill number 5 though. Okay, Charlie, what's next? Lumbridge step. With the items I need, I can get the casket. What's inside? The fucking parrot? Holy shit! That's a collection log slot and one of the more expensive drops from beginner clothes. I love the parrot, that was so worth the iron grind. Short as it was. Four more log slots and I get another skill. I did one kill back at Goblins and got another clue. Let's see where this takes us. First the Cook. Now Reldo. Okay, ending with Hunting in Barbarian Village. Casket for... The fucking Mole Slippers? Holy shit. You've got to be kidding me, they're worth over a mil. Back to back uniques and the two most expensive also, that's insane. Well, that's seven log slots now. Another beginner clue so soon. Shante this time. Draenor next and now Hunting. Just a leather body, that is far more reasonable. By the way, goblins have a 1 in 80 chance of dropping a beginner clue and I've had 5 in 78 kills. That's insane. Another new clue and a Charlie step again. Cooked trout. No way for me to realistically get that. That is a drop. Back to goblins. There's level 19 hit points, level 26 defense, and level 28 prayer. Another defense level coming in now for level 27. Oh, the Freaky Forester event. What do I get out of it? The Lederhosen hat. Nice. That's my 8th log slot down and my 3rd for this episode. I think it's time we go back to Tithe Farm for a little bit. After all, I've had my break from Tithe Farm. I should go after some more direct log slots, since I can unlock a new skill with 10 logs filled. Oh, it must be time for Citizenscape's Fact of the Day. Did you know that the Tangle Root, the farming skill pet, has the best chance of being received from growing teak, mahogany, spirit and redwood trees with a base rate of 1 in 5000? 
Meanwhile, Tithe Farm is the worst possible way with a base rate of 1 in 7,494,389, which is more than 19 times less likely than the second worst method. There's another 100 fruit grown and level 50 farming. You know what would be good? Actually wearing the farming set. I just did a full 100 fruits without it. What a fucking idiot. There's another 100 grown, this time with the outfit. Level 51 farming coming in. As you can see, I have 6 watering cans now. I can do 16 fruits now without composting them. It is more clicks, but it's a bit faster. Another 100 fruit and level 52 farming. I'm doing the same thing I did last episode. I'm waiting to restore run energy between each run. Doing this, I got a Rick random for a kebab. There's another 100 fruit and level 53 farming. And with that, this is now enough for me to buy the final piece of the farming outfit and get my ninth log slot. That is the burrow trousers. Now that I've unlocked the full farming outfit, I'm back at goblins for a clue scroll or a random event. There's level 20 hit points coming in. This is an easy clue that we can actually do. Edgeville Monastery. Oh, I can do the second step too, this is promising. Third step, Falador Park. Easy. And that, my friends, is an easy casket with... Trash. Well, back to it. A pinball random event. Five sapphires. That is level 28 defense and another easy clue. Easy casket. Black pickaxe. That's a shared clue unique. And our 10th log slot. Time for a new skill. Spin that wheel. Wood cutting. Huh. Looks like it's time for me to get the forestry kit and get to work there. There are plenty of uniques that I can unlock from forestry. A lot of them require copious amounts of logs, even as high as redwood. The other thing I need to get is anima infused bark. These are received by doing forestry events. I would like it on the records that I haven't really done forestry before. Soon you'll see why I'm telling you this. Before I start too much wood cutting, I can boost it up a bit with some quests. I'm going to quickly do the monk's friend quest, which will get me right to level 13 wood cutting. With a few extra logs cut, I can get to 15. Now I can cut oaks. It's not a big deal, but I'm going to do the clock tower quest just because I'm already here. 500 gold? Are you serious? Wow! Okay, our first forestry event is the dryad event. You just stand on the symbol that doesn't match with the others. The rune light helper makes this super easy. With enough waiting, you get some experience and some anima infused bark, which we're going to need a lot of. Oh, and hey, there's level 18 woodcutting and 19 woodcutting too plus 270 bark. Here's another one of the events. You just trim the Entling's hair to their request for this one. This event requires you to get a pheasant egg from one of the nests. While the pheasant's not in the nest, you can steal the egg and give it to the forester. They change nests every few seconds. Wait, I'm getting thieving experience? Fuck! No more of that event, I guess. I should have looked into these better. Oh, a bird's nest and a cowquat seed. Level 25 woodcutting. This event requires you to build a beehive with the logs that you've cut. It's pretty simple. Without a house, you can't gain construction experience from this one. Once it's built, you have a chance of getting some sturdy beehive parts, like these here. With these, you can build a beehive in your player-owned house. And that is 11 log slots for me. I've just been hanging out cutting oaks here, but with level 30 woodcutting, now I can cut willows with everyone else. Okay, it's been a little while. There's level 35 woodcutting, and there's a beginner clue nest. I'm seriously overdue for a forestry event, so I'll do the clue once we get the event. Trust me, there are people here with me. I'm just using Entity Hider so that I can see what's actually going on. And there we go, event. This is the flowering bush event. You just repeatedly click on the right bushes to gain experience and bark. Once again, Runelight makes this super easy. Okay, clue scroll time. Charlie wants iron ore, so I'm back to the dwarves. That only took a few minutes to get the ore. Very nice. Casket. Steel skirt. Back to forestry. Another dryad event. There is a 1 in 50 chance of receiving a petal garland from this event, which is its own forestry unique. Nothing this time, but maybe in the future. There's some more bark for us though. There's level 40 woodcutting. I know the events seem quick for you guys watching, but trust me, they take a while between each one for me, as anyone who's done forestry would know. Wait, this event gives fletching experience? It didn't give me any last time. 
Editor's note again, this is true. I checked the footage. Well, I guess that event is off the table too. Two fuck ups in one episode. Wow, another Dryad event. I've looked over the events more closely now, so I shouldn't fuck it up again. I just thought that, that one was safe. Level 45 woodcutting coming in. Good levels if nothing else. There's a poacher event which I can't do. Trust me, I looked this time. You normally disable the traps, but you get hunter experience out of that. I'm not going to make that mistake. Another poacher event. Sucks when I can't do them. A third one? Are you fucking kidding me? Three in a row? Four! Four in a row, this is bullshit. Ah, uh, finally, one that I can do. The beehive event. Pheasant event, won't do that again. And there's level 50 woodcutting. Oh, and a beginner clue nest. Let's do it. Trout for Charlie. I can't do that. That's a drop. Beginner clue nest again. The second step is hunting, sending me right back to Draenor where I was. And the casket is... nothing. Okay. Jekyll's back again for more strength potion. Beehive event again for some more bark. Now, between all the logs that I've cut and the bark that I've gathered, I can buy the Twitch's gloves. A log slot and a better chance of getting clue nests in the future. That is seven new log slots for today. We received the shoulder parrot, mole slippers, leather hose and hat, farmer's trousers, the black pickaxe, sturdy beehive parts, and now the Twitch's gloves. We also unlock wood cutting, starting our forestry grind. We only need three more log slots before we can spin a new skill on the wheel. Here's my question for today. What log slots would you like to see me unlock in future? Tune in next time to see what we unlock next.